Welcome to an Exosploit tutorial. Please help me by commenting and reading this video. Hey guys, I'm just going to do a quick run through here on burning ISO images to CDs. Now, uh, the example I'm going to be using is a Unix distribution called Backtrack2. I'm going to be burning this with Image Burn version 2.4.1. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is decide if you're going to need to use a CD or a DVD or multiple CDs. Now your CDs will probably be 700 megabytes, and if your file is under 700 megabytes, then that's fine to use. But if the file you're burning is over 700 megabytes and is under 4.7 gig, uh, gigabytes, you're going to need to use a DVD. Alright, so this is an ISO image. Now you're going to come across an ISO images maybe when you download a program, maybe when you're downloading a game or you back up your game. It could be in an ISO image, so this is one reason you would need to burn it. Now there's another way to use these, which would be to use a CD emulation, but I'm not going to get into that. So I'm going to burn this. First thing you're going to need to do is download Image Burn. You can type IMG Burn, go to their website or their download page directly from Google, and you can go to the bottom one here or go to the link in the description and save this to your disk. Alright, so this is only 1.84 megabytes. Alright, so we're going to be installing this now. Simple enough. Alright, I don't like to use the quick launch icons. So I'm going to uncheck that. Now if you would like to use that, you're, you can do that. And if you have more than one user on your computer, you can do this, but I only have myself. The default location will work fine for this. Alright, now if you have a DVD decryptor installed, you can use this as the right click menu, and I'll do that. And I'm going to have this check periodically for updates. Run image burn. Finish. Alright, now your uh, firewall may pop up asking if you would like it to check for updates. I'm going to not have it remember for this application, but I'm going to allow this one time, and it should bring me any updates because this is the latest version. Alright, so what I want to do is write an image file to the disk. Make sure at this point that you have your CD or DVD in your drive, and click it. Alright, so I'm selecting my CD DVD drive. Now I'm going to browse from my ISO file. Your write speed should be auto, unless you know what it is. And I'm only going to be making one copy. And verify that it's burnt properly after you're done burning. And there we go, it'll go through the burning process, which will take anywhere from two minutes to half an hour, maybe. Alright, so near the end of the process, your tray will probably eject, and then it'll go back in, and then it'll verify. Once the verifying is done, it'll be okay, and you can eject your disk. So once it's done burning, you can put it back in your CD tray, and it should auto-run. If it doesn't auto-run, Go to my computer and double click on your CD or DVD tray and it should begin installing. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please comment and rate it. And if you want to see more tutorials, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.